Okay, so in review, in Jelly Deep Dive review, we did journals. I haven't really done anything since I did my worked in my journal. I still have a lot to go, but I've been busy with other stuff. So we did our journals. We did um, we did our cards. And everybody that showed cards, it was really fun. And I'm going to make a few more because I want to use these. I, I decided, since we're probably not going out for Christmas, I might want to do Christmas cards. So we did that. And you may have seen the artwork that I posted this week. These are the pieces yeah. I was working on in class. That's so pretty. I love that. So, I mean, look how cool those are. Oh, wow. And That's you would really never... Nice. That one... And what I did, I love oh, this one with the gold leaf. Oh, I love I wasn't that. sure what to do with it, and I just outlined it with oh, gold and goodness. copper leaf. And and for those of you, you know, these little these little mats are so easy to do. This guy I just glued right onto the backing. Hmm. And then hmm. and then I just if if I had room here I'd show you, but I just use um linen hinging tape mm -hmm. i put my linen i put these guys together i'm gonna like talk you through it i put these together and i put a line of linen hinging tape and then that hinging tape i'm able to just close this on the other oh. three sides i put double stick scotch tape it's like a double it's like a scotch tape it's you know but I just do that on all three sides and make sure it's even and, and seal it down and you're good to go. On, on one of my pieces, it was on watercolor paper, so I didn't really need to glue it down. These were all on, the other pieces were all on the computer paper. So they were a little ripply, so I needed to, I, I did matte medium, smooth them out and put a stack of books on them and they turned out nice and flat. I think one of them, it might be this one. This one's just taped down because I did this on watercolor paper. So it was a really sturdy paper that didn't warp or ripple. The other guys just happened to be things I was doing in class on computer paper. So they had a lot of ripples in them. So I wanted to make sure they laid down flat. Got it. So, so put a mat on it and it's going to be your favorite masterpiece. Um, Matt's Matt Magic. These are two little paintings. These are just jelly papers that I just went around with a couple colors, negative painted around it, added a little gold leaf, and and there you go. That that's all I did. Because I think I may have done a little stabilo around a couple of them. But I mean, come on, that that was so fun. I I over these were I just did these yesterday. These were papers that we made in the first class. Remember, we were using both sides of the papers. Mm -hmm. So I just took my papers, folded them, did my little, you know, get, make sure my edge, my I have a seam. So then I took them and I made a couple little journals. This one's just wrapping ribbon, and I have a couple little charms and a key that were laying around. But these make really fun little gifts. And I, and I, every once in a while, like some of these, I put in a piece of jelly paper that was blank on the back so people could add in their own stuff. And this one, I just added copper wire and a couple little, little wings and added in some... Uh, you know, just plain papers. Mm -hmm. So that's really, I mean, you could do so much stuff with these papers. Hmm. So those, and then my favorite thing is, um, which is this. This is a little cigar box, all jelly papers. What, once you start doing them, you just kind of go crazy. And this is just my little needle, my little needle point box. Oh, cool. And then... And then this one, I've taken on a lot of trips with me. It's a little Prashad box I made to when I'm out painting. Um, of course, I don't have a little painting right That's in front great. of me. But th this is just the, the piece of a Scrabble board. So I can pack all my, my paints in there and put a little, little canvas or something right on top of that right here and set it on a picnic table and paint. Oh, my God.
It's just another fun thing to use your papers with. I don't want to get too many of them because then it's kind of overkill. I'll save these for the outside. So pretty much that's all I'm going to put in there. Um, I think the little kitty cat's fun. Just because it's um, A, a kitty cat. I posted the class. The class is going to be back to painting, you know, back to mixed media. And it's going to be, um, I'm calling it What's Underneath. And now this is not my painting. This is actually a painting of Susie Zoll's. Um, my paintings are all in storage, so I grabbed hers off the wall. But it's the same thing. I mean, look at all the cool, crazy stuff underneath here. It's that. having fun with doing cool, crazy stuff. And then she's done texture and just, you know how much I love negative painting and negative painted around it. So the class is going to be called What's Underneath.